What's up guys, it's Gage from ARG here with Chris LeBlanc to go over his deck list that he paid for ARG Connecticut this weekend. Chris, so how are you today? What, what, how did you enjoy your event day one? I'm good, it was fun. This is like the most fun I've ever had playing Yu-Gi-Oh! because I get to play like cards that no one else is really playing and it brings me back. Did you enjoy your day one in ARG Connecticut? Yeah, it was amazing. And how's your day two going? It's going great. Just having a whole other event the next day if you don't make it to day two is awesome. So we saw you had a feature match round two or three earlier yeah, in day that's round one. Three, yeah. And your deck list is very unique for Necroz, which is a meta deck. You don't really see anything out of the ordinary. But your deck is very, like, incredibly diverse in what it is. Like, would, do you want to bring up some of the main points that really make your deck that unique? Uh, yeah, so... The biggest part about it is like it's it's Necroz of course, but it's heroes. Uh, it runs the hero engine. Um, basically, like what's unique about it is I run malicious and. Do you want me to just go over the card set? Sure, go yeah. over the cards that you All really right, feel uh, are unique. All right, so in the main deck, I'd say malicious, um, Shadow Mist, Destiny Hero, Doom Lord, Mass Change Two, uh, and Summoner Monk. Those are about the only different cards from the normal list. Now, let's go over the Destiny Heroes first, because that's kind of surprising yeah. to me. How did the three Malicious plus the one Doom, Doom Lord, is that Doom Lord? That's yeah, Doom, Doom Lord. Lord. Work along with like the deck. Uh, it was amazing, actually. I played Doom Lord as my out to the Jin Lock, and it worked both times that I needed it. Uh, and Malicious is like a combo card in the deck, you could have guessed. Uh, it works very well with Bionic and Cycle, and like there's a lot of synergy with uh, most of the deck. Uh, sometimes I would like discard it off match teams too, so there's other ways that it works. Uh, the main like the main part what you're trying to do with malicious is make M7 or Bouncer. So now, how often did you go into those two? I didn't make Bouncer once because I didn't play against Burning Abyss, but I mean M7 about every game. Every game. That, that card is just, it's so easy to make, and I would either OTK my opponent by returning their Necroz monster back from the graveyard so they can't Valkyris me, um, or I would uh, just add something back from my graveyard and have uh, stuff for next turn. But you said every game you brought that out, so running the Malicious as well as the Bryanax, you're able to bring this out pretty consistently, see, Yeah. Say. Okay, and looking at the rest of your deck, uh, you have Armageddon Knight and the Hero Engine as well. How did that work along with it? Armageddon Knight is actually just good by itself in the deck because you can just send Jin. Um, it works really well with Summoner Monk because you can like Summoner Monk, discard a spell, summon Armageddon Knight, send to Jin, and then make uh, Master Key Beetle, and then like you pre protect your uh, the Dijin uh, ritual so that they just can't they kill it with anything except for Book of Eclipse, and the odds of them having that are really low. So now looking at the rest of your deck, like people are running three Manju, three Senju, you decided to go three Manju and one Senju. Yeah. Did, the consist did that affect the consistency at all, or would you say the deck still worked very well? The only one I ever like wanted to like, mo well, Senju is a good card. But Manju's like ten times better, of course. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to cut down on the normal summons because I had so many in the deck. So cutting Senju was probably the only thing I could have done. At first, I thought that you could Summoner Monk, summon Senju from deck and get Senju's effect. They learned later that there was an errata that it's only when it's normal or flip summoned. So I cut it down to one. It was at two at one point. And um, you decided to one one shrit. Uh, people are running like two to three, I believe. So what did yeah. the one work out just fine? One was actually perfect. Uh, I don't really like. I'm not trying to like summon Valkyrus a lot. Like most of the time, I'm just trying to get off my like main combo play of M7. No. And it, yeah. Now, while we're on the topic of Shrit and the Necros in general, looking at your lineup of the Necros, you run two Valkyrus and two Colossalus. Yes. Do you like two Colossalus? Because I mostly see people running three Valkyrus and one Colossalus. I like two because, like, I will always go through with my stuff so fast, and I want to always have, like, a, a Colossus in deck, especially because I run, like, Rota and stuff. So, like, I want to have more options. And uh, two Valkyrus is fine. Like, I've had this argument with people about how they want to run three Valkyrus, but they don't understand that it's recyclable and you can search from your deck. You can get it with Bryonic and then once you use it, you can get it back with Unicor. So it's it's actually just, you never need three. And I don't like drawing more than one, so. Now, talking about another like hand trap you teched in, you teched in two Maxi in the main deck. Yes. Did that work flawlessly throughout the day? It worked great, actually. I was gonna play Shared Ride, but then realized like if I do end up going second, 
uh, Maxi is just so much better. You even feel like in the clipboard matchup stuff, Maxi was still more beneficial than Shared Ride? Uh, essentially, Shared Ride against Clifford, I'm only going to get one card anyway because they're only searching once. So it's better because Maxi, they can special summon more than one time. So that's going to work better. And against Burning Abyss, I actually thought that was a pretty good deck going into this event. So Maxi was just better against Burning Abyss. So all around, Maxi just performed better. So what was your favorite combo play that you made throughout the day that absolutely do like demolished your opponents whenever you comboed off with it? Like whether it involved like the Destiny heroes or just your basic deck um, combo? There's a lot of them. Uh, all right, so one time, this is what I play a uh, elemental hero, Divine Neos. This card is uh, it's it doesn't you can't summon it of course. It just uses your uh, level 12 monster. So I use it uh, send the graveyard off of Kaleidoscope, and I got to use Koga's second effects to like this isn't much of a combo, but this is something cool that you can do. Uh, you can banish this from grave and make your opponent's monster minus 2500 attack, which you can't usually do because you don't run like heroes with the stuff but like this deck can actually utilize Koga a lot more. How often did you go into your masked heroes throughout the day? Whether it like be Acid with all the Necros all or like right. even surprising with the Yeah, ball. so against Coolfort, I made Acid like two out of the three uh, rounds I played against Coolfort. Uh, Dark Law, I made quite often because it's really easy to make, especially when you Summoner Monk into Shadow Mist. Um, and like I would like summon to Jin and then like Mass Change 2 or something like that. Like Dark Law was easily the one I used the most. Uh, Koga was actually really good because I would like this is the reason why I'm playing Match Change 2 is an out, it's an out to Valkyrie, so that's the biggest part of the card. So I would like attack directly with Manju, they would like banish Valkyrie, and I would like chain Match Change 2, summon Koga, and then I'd be able to OTK them, and they can't Valkyrie. Well, they did Valkyrie, but like they'd have, they'd have to have another one. So yeah, that was that was the main reason. Like, and yeah, I made these quite often, so. They're really good. Now looking at your side deck, there isn't really anything that unique about it. It's like cards aside yeah. against clipboards, the, the mirror. It's just match, standard then, stuff. Like burning a mist. Yeah. But there's one thing in there that's uh, someone's yeah. gonna bring up. There's a second Dijin. <laughs> yeah, in deck. I do play two Dijin because the reason why I'm, it's not to ask the side one out and like uh, side one out. Uh, yeah, take one out and put one in. It's because I want to. I want to have two in my main deck. Yeah, uh, because I want to Dijin lock my opponent more than once, and it's so easy to get it engraved with Armageddon Knight or Laval Chain. So like the main purpose of the deck is to Dijin lock my opponent if they're playing Necros. Would you say it's a lot more consistent on getting out the Dijin lock than the basic? Yes, Necros? very. Because like Summoner Monk it is Dijin lock for like one, so that is. And then uh, Rota is another way of getting Dijin. Like it just makes it so you don't need Manju or Senju and the whole combo to get the stuff out. So all together, just as a quick recap, how would you say your deck performed today? Uh. It performed really well, actually. I ended seven two, but I thought it did great. Like, like I, I, you can't expect to like win every match with a deck that, like, because like when people have the out to the gym lock, like it's like actually like a blowout because you go like down to two cards and you don't have many resources left. So I would definitely like tune this up a little bit. If, to make it better, because like that's one thing I noticed was the gin lock. Like, like I, if they had the out, then I was screwed. So I need to find something that I can do about that. What would be one big change that you would make in the deck? Like the thing that just grinds your gears. I would play like three Rota instead of one. That card was great. I, I just, I really wish I played more of it. And yeah. But even looking, you have a very cramped deck list. Like, what would you take I do, out yeah. to put in the rain? I would probably cut. Maxi of anything because all that was doing was filling up space. I did play 41 cards because I wanted. I didn't want to play like one Maxi or whatever. And there's nothing else I like. I would like to cut. All right. Well, I hope you do well in your day two in the 1K. We are currently what 1-0. Uh, no, I actually lost it to mid round one. You lost it to mid. Oh well, but my yeah, it was actually pretty unfortunate. So uh, did you drop or you just stopped? Uh, I'm just going to play. Just okay. Well. Play the deck. I hope you still enjoyed your time here at like the Circuit Series in Connecticut. Yeah, definitely. It was amazing. Well, thanks for coming on. Yep, thank you. And that, that was Chris LeBlanc, everybody. And I thank you guys all for watching. Gage from ARG, signing out.